By 2050, the present-day agricultural production will not be enough to sustain the increase in population, which will reach over 10 billion of people. We need an increased agricultural productivity then, which uh, should uh, uh, be sustainable both economically and ecologically. In particular, for what is concerned with the fertilization of soil. There are microorganisms which indeed are able to naturally fertilize the soil through their natural metabolism. However, those bacteria are uh, needing uh, some amelioration, some improvement of their abilities, as was done uh, over the past centuries for the plants we are using in our present day uh, nutrition and agriculture. The research we, we carried out is then devoted to develop systems, genetic systems, to uh, increase the productivity of such bacteria. What we have developed are uh, transplantation techniques, a sort of hybridization technologies, uh, similarly, basically similar to what have been developed for plants, uh, hybridization of plants, I mean. Uh, in details, what we were able to do is uh, moving more than one-fifth of the genome from one bacterium to another of the same species by using the natural tendency of bacteria to transfer genetic material each other. What we have done is to use genomics, computational biology and metabolomics techniques, so the most modern techniques, to direct, to uh, better control this transfer. In this way we were able to form, to create uh, some bacteria which could be used then uh, as a probiotics, uh, as a bioinoculants, as we formally say in agriculture, in the near future agriculture.